The general perception of international modeling is women embodying beauty and glamour, but there is an ugly side of the business that most people never see. Underage girls, not women, girls, often from poor families exploited by false promises and unfair treatment. This Sunday on PBS is the broadcast premiere of a documentary that follows the story of a 13-year-old Russian girl from Siberia. She travels alone to Japan to start her modeling career after being promised money and a guaranteed shot at success. Here's a clip from the POV documentary, Girl Model. Uh, joining us now is uh, Sarah Ziff, founder of the Model Alliance. It's an organization that works to improve the working conditions and ethical standards of the fashion industry. Sarah, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So you're very familiar with this documentary. And what we saw just there was Nadia. She's only 13, despite what she looks like. I mean, she's only 13. And uh, she's very hopeful she is on her way to Tokyo for the first time. She's from a small town in Siberia. We're not talking a street-wise 13-year-old. Yeah. She gets to Tokyo. There's no one there to greet her. She doesn't speak the language at all. She has to figure out how to find her way to the apartment that she's staying at. Tiny, tiny apartment uh, she, that she shares. I, I can't even call it apartment, sorry. It's a room with a bunk bed. She right. shares with another potential model. They spend their days going to call after call after call. She gets one job. In the end, she ends up returning to Russia, owing the modeling agency money. When they had guaranteed her, I think it was $8,000, right? Right. This is not the glamour. You know, we've heard stories of young girls plucked from anonymity into the, you know, the glamorous world of fashion modeling. This ain't it. No. How common is Nadia's story? Well, I think that this film, Girl Model, is extremely important because most people, when they think of modeling, they think of glamour and money. Mm -hmm. And the, probably the last thing that they're considering is that these are children who don't have even the most basic labor protections. Right. Uh, so to answer your question, Nadia's story is, unfortunately, it's not that uncommon. Mm -hmm. uh, modeling is a winner-take-all market, and you know, 1% uh, really hit the jackpot, right. and then there's the 99% who don't. Right. And, um, I think what makes this film particularly compelling and this issue all the more compelling is that you're talking about a labor force of children. Essentially, yeah. I mean, we saw all the uh, girls lined up there, hopeful that, uh, you know, that shot could change their lives. Um, you were a model for 10 years. Tell me a little bit about your journey. What were your experiences like? Well, I started modeling about the same time as Nadia. I was 14 years old. Really? So you don't think that happens in the USA? Well, that's the thing. People like to think that this is stuff that goes on on the other side of the world. Yeah. It, it's actually happening here in New York City as well. Wow. And that's why I formed the Model Alliance, which is a nonprofit labor group for models working in the American fashion industry. Uh, you know, I know firsthand the problems in the industry and I don't want to make modeling out to be a terrible thing. Right. I think it it can be a really fun job mm -hmm. and uh, if you're lucky and successful then um, I have no problem with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, there's, a, there's a lot that I've gained from that experience but what I do have a problem with is that child models are pretty much the only child performers who are not regulated by the Department of Labor and have almost no protections. Right. So, you know, we actually, as independent contractors instead of employees, we don't have protections against sexual harassment in the workplace. Mm. We don't uh, even have minimum wage law that applies to us. Mm -hmm. So often we're 
not paid in money, we're paid in clothes. Wow. You know, a tank top, which does not pay the rent. <laughs> no, and you know, in regards to children, you know, if you're a child actor, they probably have a tutor on set and you have to spend X number of hours working and X number of hours in school. Nadia left ninth grade for two months to do this. Right, and that is a common problem in the modeling industry because uh, designers and magazines and other clients tend to hire really young girls who are minors who should be in school mm -hmm. and those girls I remember feeling this myself you you feel like you need to grab the brass ring while you can and you have this very short window of time when you can possibly make it right. and uh, unfortunately without any basic labor protections we're often encouraged to drop out of school hmm to pursue a career that might not you know, be profitable and could even be dangerous. Throughout the whole documentary, you know, you find yourself asking, why doesn't somebody step in and help? Why, you know, why, why did her parents let her go on her own so young? I know that they, you know, the money sounded really good. Um, why did the modeling agency just take the extra step to have a translator so she wasn't in this world where she didn't understand what was going on? And, and sort of ultimately, well, who's responsible for these children? Uh, is there an answer? Who's responsible? Is everybody sort of divvying up the blame and so no one's responsible? I do think there's a blame game that goes on, but a lot of it is just about lack of awareness. And so I really do hope that people will see this film because, you know, when I talk about these issues, I find that a lot of people who aren't familiar with the industry just they don't get it it's so hard to see past this glossy veneer yeah. um, but then when you when you see this unvarnished account oh, yeah. uh, it really is very compelling and it's just a no-brainer kids who are working should have basic labor protections and what you see in this film girl model is that you know what goes on in modeling can sometimes border on human trafficking it's a, that's a great, great way to describe it. Uh, Sarah Ziff, founder of the Model Alliance, doing good work. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks so much. And the broadcast premiere of the POV documentary, Girl Model, is this Sunday on PBS at 10 p.m. Check your local listings.